All right, Shalom, on this holy uh, Feast of Tabernacles. This is the Brother Bob, you're back here once again. Before I get started, like always, I want to give all praises and glory to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah Bahashem, Rechach HaKadosh. Double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone, the minute I learned the truth from, and Shalom to the hopeful elect. Um, yeah, when God's coming to the truth, um, a lot of times... You can fall victim to feeling yourself beginning to think too highly of yourself. Um, because, you know, when we were in the world, a lot of us, some of us might have been popular. A lot of us wasn't. All right. You might have been in so you might have been a part of the so-called so-called cool crowd um, whatever. But a lot of guys, they weren't popular in the world or they didn't have much in the world. And they come into the truth and. You know, they like the fact that they have something now, all right, that they're that they're good at, so to say. Um, and a lot of times guys can allow the truth to go to their head, you know. So, you know, when you come into the truth, you learn the precepts, right? That's what I'm touching on in this lesson, you know, and um, other aspects. But when you come into the truth, you learn the precepts. That's how you teach. That's how we teach, all right? The scriptures say about precept. Uh, here a little, there a little, all right? We go to one scripture, all right? We may we may move to a whole nother scripture and a whole nother book, a whole nother book that's different from the book we just read. And we line it up perfectly through the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem El Shai. But, um, you know, when you first come in, you're just a mockingbird, all right? You're a parrot, <clears throat> all right? You're just, um, I mean, you're just saying and teaching what, what you've heard from your teachers, which is good, which is beautiful, because, you you know, you're teaching the same doctrine, you're teaching the same song. And that's why I said you're like a mockingbird, because what mockingbirds do is they mimic the, the same sound of other birds. But, you know, um, you can't allow that to get to your head. All right. The point I'm trying to get to is you can't allow that to get to your head because cool. Right. And that's what I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you this cool. But do you understand? Because you may have a brother that a quote a precept that he's been taught he he's he's memorized the precepts all right to a t but he'll and he'll quote a precept but he might not even know what's going on in the chapter or the book uh that he's quoting the precept from he just memorized the precepts now that ties into a lot of things because you have guys that have taken the truth that they've learned through the grace and mercy of Yahweh through the elder apostles all right, the wisdom that's been bestowed upon them, the teachers, they take it and run with it and they start thinking too highly of themselves when really the Lord is only, remember the truth is a gift and the Lord is only giving you a smidget, <laughs> all right, of what's in his treasure box. And um, really, you know, you don't know shit, all right? And, you know, to think highly of yourself is very foolish because we had the language, all right? We come from speaking the 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 Lashawan Kodash, all right? Um, thoroughly, all right? We had a temple. We had uh, gar our garments with fringes on. We were in the land. We had these things, and we fell from it because of our wickedness. We don't even have those things now, all right? And we're coming back into these things. We're coming back into our heritage. And Jake think that they're on some high level. And really, in the Lord's eyes, <laughs> you should just be every day, you know, asking for repentance, <laughs> you know? And that's where... Um, I'm going to title this cool, but do you understand? Because you, let's say you quote a precept, right? Do you understand why that, uh, why that phrase was said or why that message came across? Do you understand? Do you understand what led up to that being said? All right. Do you understand what caused that to be said? All right. And that comes in, um, also being studious. All right. Because the truth is more than just memorizing precepts, man. All right. You got to understand what you're a part of, all right? Why you're in this, all right? Why are you out on, why are you out on the highways and byways, all right? Why do you need a brotherhood, all right? Why do you need Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Why are you remembering these precepts, all right? Why are you doing these lessons, all right? Why are you uh, focusing on uh, bettering yourself each and every day? You got to have the understanding behind what you're reading and, and, and quoting, all right, and um, regurgitating what you learn, you got to have the, the understanding behind that, man, 
Uh, I want to get one quick precip. And before I get that, uh, before I get that precip, you got to have the understanding of what you're a part of. All right. Why are you a part of this body? Why did the Lord call you out of the world into this body? Is it to glorify yourself or serve him? All right. And how do you serve him? All right. It's surely not by uh, boasting in yourselves or thinking that you're somebody when you're not. But um, let me get this first precept that I want. Let's go over to uh, Proverbs chapter 4 real quick. Let's go over there. Proverbs chapter 4 down to verse 7. It says, Wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom. And with all thy getting, get understanding. Now, we use this scripture a lot of times uh, with people that teach the wrong doctrine. Because Christians, you know, they can, they can memorize the Bible front to back but they don't have understanding of what they're reading. They don't have the understanding of the mystery of the Hellenized Israelites that became Greeks and are also known as Gentiles within the New, New Testament. They don't have that understanding, all right? But even applying to brothers within the, a, a part of the body, all right, with all you're getting, yes, you, you've learned the precepts. You remember the precepts. You're quoting the precepts. But with all you're getting, get understanding of why you're out here on these highways and byways. What are you doing when you're out there? Are you just a shouting out? Are you just out there to shout at the so-called white man and uh, just just shout precepts that you memorize? Or are you um, giving up a spiritual sacrifice? All right. A serious solemn sacrifice all right because the scriptures clearly tell us that when we go out and we preach on these highways and byways that is foolishness scriptures say it pleases the lord by the foolishness of preaching because he knows the majority of the people within this world are not going to take heed to our message but we're doing it to glorify our power within these weak vessels so when knowing that how serious should you take it all right are you just part of this body just to be a part of something because you wasn't a part of no brotherhood within the world you didn't have no crew, no posse in the world, right? Do you understand what it means when the Lord is telling you how to deal with your brothers, all right? How to deal amongst the brotherhood. And that's why you have guys that don't want to be a part of a brotherhood because it makes them uncomfortable dealing with certain personalities. Do you understand what you're a part of? Do you understand what you're coming back into? Do you understand that you have to get out of your comfort zone? You un do you understand you have to deal with different personalities, how can you be a king? How can you be a ruler? How can you be waiting to inherit the earth with Yahweh Shah and you can't even handle dealing with different personalities amongst your brothers, man? You just want to be in your own little zone. You just want to be by yourself. Don't know, I want to be a lone wolf prophet. You lack understanding. You lack wisdom, right? What are you truly a part of? With all that getting, get understanding. And, you know, um, Bros have to learn that because you'll see these guys boasting. You, you'll see them boasting, like boasting in the precepts that they know the precepts. And I'm talking about guys, of course, um, in these other camps, you know, in some of these fallouts. They boast in these precepts that, they, that they've learned when really, do all you did was just memorize stuff that was taught to you by other men. But are you changing your lifestyle? Do you understand why you are coming back to your house by Shah? Are you working on your physical health? Are you working on your mental health? Are you working on your your, your, your spiritual relationship with your Habash Mel Shai? All right? Or are you just a, a still a Burger King eating nigga? All right? Or, or being a wicked brother, being lackadaisical within the truth? All right? Not serving the body, not truly working on yourself behind the scenes, still being very worldly. All right? Hanging around worldly niggas the majority of the time. Not not embo not emboldening, all right, and residing within the spirit of Yahweh Yahusha majority of your time, all right, throughout the week. Cause like I said, we're in this flesh, so we're gonna go off. We're not gonna be perfect, right? But are are you constantly working on that diligently, right? <clears throat> um, since I said that, let me touch on a precept over here in Joshua. The book of Joshua chapter 1 verse, let's go to Joshua chapter 1 verse 8. It says, The book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night, that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. For then shalt thou, for then shalt thou make thy, thy way prosperous, and then shalt thou have good success. 
So you're supposed to meditate on the word of Yahweh Shemuel Rashad day and night. All right. And this time, not just the laws, because we can't keep the laws perfectly, but you, you take heed to the laws. All right. You understand why the laws were written. All right. You understand it's not the Lord didn't just tell you not to eat uh, uh, shellfish um, just because. All right. I mean, oysters and stuff like that. He didn't tell you to stay away from that just because, you know, he wanted to tell you that. All right. It's, it's a reason behind everything that the Lord told you. Just like I seen a video of these people, they had uh, oysters and um, the oysters had parasites in it. All right. Or any other abominable food or right? what? Or abominable way, adultery. All right. Uncontrollable lust, hating your brother, envying your brother, whatever. It's the reason why the Lord said these things and you meditate on the, these ways day and night. And you meditate day and night on the scriptures that you are learning in the in the the, um, the precepts that you do memorize. Okay, you say okay. The, the, I learned this precept today. Let me go to the book where it, where it's um, written in. And let me see what was going on there that caused this precept, you know, to 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 to, to for this pre precept to be established. All right, and then you have better understanding of what you what you're talking about, man. Right. Because when you go to, um, let me see, uh, 2 Timothy chapter 3. Let's go there real quick. 2 Timothy, <clears throat> 2 Timothy chapter 3. And let's go to verse, let's see, uh, verse 14, right? It says, But continue thou in the things which thou hast learned and hast been assured of, Knowing of, knowing of whom thou hast learned them, all right? You, do you know what you who you learned the truth from? You learned it from your elder apostles of Great Millstone through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shem Yahushai. You didn't wake up with this knowledge. You didn't like I always like to say. You didn't jump out of bed one day and say, "Oh shit, I got an epiphany." Deuteronomy chapter sixty. Deuteronomy chapter twenty-eight. It's talking about you niggas, you Hispanics, you Native American Indians. Y'all look, y'all got curses on y'all. Did you just wake up with an epiphany one day or did you learn from men that was endowed by the spirit of Yahweh Shem Shah? Then you say, okay, well, I'm just a man that learned from other men, all right, that have been chosen by Yahweh Shem Shah, so I should be grateful. I shouldn't boast in that, all right? I shouldn't, I shouldn't lift myself up too highly. Be grateful, but I shouldn't, you know, I shouldn't lift myself up too highly, all right? Do you understand why that was given to you? Do you understand why the elders, why the Lord set up the elder apostles to teach this word and push it out? And for us younger brothers to receive it. Do you have, do you understand that? Why that happened? All right. Verse 15. And that from a child thou has known the holy scriptures, which are able to make thee wise unto salvation through faith, which is Yahweh Shah HaMashiach. All scripture is given by inspiration of Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shah and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for, correct, for correction, for instruction in, right, in righteousness. That the man of Yahweh may be may be perfect, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. So, it's for reproof, it's for correction, and it's for instruction. So, are you correcting yourself? Are you reproving yourself? Are you instructing yourself with the precepts that you're learning, or are you just memorizing them just to look cool, all right? To look like you know something, right? You lack, um understanding if you're doing that and when it says that the man be thoroughly f furnished all right it means to be complete so you, you're, you're complete you're made whole all right through the spirit and, spirit and power you how about you shy now in the beginning i said you know we, we only know a smidget of really what the lord has you know but we know enough for salvation we know everything we need to know that to lead to salvation we have 100 percent truth that leads to salvation all right but even within that, you can't say, oh, yeah, 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 I'm the man. Look at what I know. Look at what I know. Really, it's just, it's a gift, all right? It's mercy, it's grace, all right? You humbly accept it and you run with it, all right? And you run with it in meekness, all right? Freely as thou been given, you give, all right? And you don't lift yourself up too high, all right? Because you be, that's why you get these guys that ain't even been in the truth that long, call themselves using precepts to rebuke, rebuke their elders and rebuke their teachers and completely going off in doctrine. 
All they did was memorize some precepts and they didn't get no understanding. They totally threw out being humble. They to totally threw out being meekness. They totally threw out suffering wrongly. All right. The scriptures speak about if you've been wronged and you feel you've been wrong, sometimes you just got to shut the fuck up and take it on the chin for the sake of the body, for the for the sake of your Habashim Yahushua's body and let the Lord work it out in the end. Remember, look, it's, everything's going to be complete when the Lord comes back and sets up his kingdom. You don't have to always justify yourself. People throw that understanding out of out of the um, out of the um, you know just throw it out of their mind. All right, how to deal with brothers? All right, how to take if you have a problem with your brother? What the scriptures say? You go to that brother. That brother don't hear you. You bring two to three witnesses. If he don't hit a if he don't hit a body, then you cast him out of monks from you. How how can you do that if you're not amongst the brotherhood? If you just want to be a lone wolf, you're not learning. You're not growing. You lack understanding. All right. <clears throat> The, the truth is supposed to bring you back to Yahweh Bashem Yahushai and inform you into a complete man to be the best servant for Yahweh Bashem Yahushai that you can be. All right? It's bigger than just memorizing precepts, man. It's a lifestyle. All right? It's a way of life. It's our heritage. It's who we are as a people. All right? We're the sons of Yahshua Allah. We have, a, we have the greatest inheritance ever known to mankind. And with that comes with getting getting understanding of why you're getting and why you're receiving the things that you're receiving. Just like the Lord would talk to his disciples and he would tell them certain things and they, they, they were receiving it, but they didn't have the full understanding of certain things he was telling them at that moment. The, the knowledge, some of the, some of the breakdowns that we have now, the disciples didn't understand it in their time. They had to be reincarnated in this time, some of them, to understand it fully. All right? The scriptures tell you what we know in part, we prophesy in part, all right? But the 100% but the that you've been given, all right, the 100% unpolluted, unfiltered, all right, uncorrupted truth that you've been gifted with, with all that getting that you have received through the spirit and power and grace and mercy of Yahweh Shemel from your elders, you have to get the understanding behind it, all right? Or else you can turn into a reprobate. So let's go... Uh, we was in uh, 2 Timothy chapter 3. Let's go back a chapter and let's go to 2 Timothy chapter 2. And let's go to verse uh, 15. It says, Study to show thyself approved unto Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. And to completely divide the word of truth, all right, the scriptures say, Study so you be not ashamed within the sight of the Lord. Now you can fuck up and be a, a you can fuck up and be ashamed in the sight of men, but it's worse being ashamed in the sight of your Habash Shemel Because like I said, when you uh start to think of yourself, matter of fact, let me get that. Uh, let me see, what is it? Uh, Romans. Let me, let's go there real quick. Romans chapter twelve. Um. Yeah, yeah, and I, I can start at one. This is Romans chapter 12, verse 1. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the by the mercies of Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, which is your reasonable service. So you ain't doing nothing out of that's something that's super special. This is your reasonable service. You broke the covenant. You fell. All right? You fell. <laughs> From from the the uh, the standard of Yahweh Shem Yahushua, you you made an oath and you broke your oath, all right, and that's why we're in this predicament today under the Edomites. So it's our reasonable service to give our life, lives unto Yahweh Shem Yahushua to suffer, to go without, all right. You may have to go without a woman. You may have to go without a nice dwelling place. You may have to go without certain things. But even within that, the Lord gives you little treats here and here and there. If you've been in this truth for a little while, you you know how the Lord operates with his servants. He doesn't just leave you out and dry hanging the whole time. Verse 2, it says, And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of Yahweh Shema Shah. Are you renewing your mind with the precepts that you're learning? Or are you just being mimicking just to mimic? And saying it just to say it. Right? You have understanding of why you're learning the things that you learned. 
It's to renew you. It's to transform you. All right? Learn the fruits of the spirit, the meekness, the humbleness, the temperance. All right? The obedience, the diligence. Give that give diligence to make that calling and election sure in all things that pertain to being a servant of Yahweh Verse 3. For I say, through the grace given unto me, to every man that is among you, not to think of himself more highly than he ought to think, but to think soberly according as Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh have dealt to every man the measure of faith. And we each have a different measure according to the portion of the spirit that we've been gifted with. And you can't think too highly of yourself just because you memorize some precepts, man. You better be using all this, this 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 knowledge you've been gifted with to work on yourself. All right? Lest least you be a reprobate. At least you be found a hypocrite. All right? Don't just be out here uh, regurgitating what you hear just to do it. You better be working on yourself with everything that you're hearing and applying it, applying it, soaking it up and letting it, letting it renew you and transform you, man. So by the time Yahweh comes back with the angels, he doesn't see Pookie and Ray Ray. He sees whatever your Hebrew name is. And he sees that you've become a, a true son of, Yah of Yahshua Allah, all right? A true son of Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh ready to enter into the new covenant. So I hope that was edifying, man. Wanted to touch on that. That was on my spirit. To the next time I say, Shalom.